What it up, y'all? This is Denzel B. Red, signing on with you guys and girls. So today, this is going to be a different kind of video today, and it's something that which I really don't talk about much in my video, but this is something different, of which I want to pinpoint, um, of what happened to the Oscars between Will Smith and Chris Rock. So, as I was watching the Oscars, basically, I don't, even, I don't watch the Oscars that much, but I just watch it because one of my favorite films is being supported, like Dune, um, and, and Spider-Man, and all these great fantastic films, stuff like that. I just there for support, and on many actors and celebrities, stuff like that. But then there was an awkward moment that happened between these two great momentum comedians, Will Smith and Chris Rock. Um, it was a point of moment that Chris Rock said something about Jada, Jada Pickett, you know, he was joking, it's Chris Rock, you know, he's always joking and stuff like that, but then he said something about Jada Pickett, about hair of G.I. Jane and stuff like that, but Jada Pickett, as you can see in the video, didn't take it to the heart, she, did, she didn't mellow, and it seems like how the joke was in action, Will Smith laughed at the joke, but I guess when he had the actions to look at his wife, all of a sudden this weird turn of events just happened. All I see is just Will Smith just walk up on stage and then afterwards it looked like he just smacked Chris Rock in his jaw and stuff. When I first saw it, I thought it was just like a like an act. It was part of a skit and everything. And the way how Chris Rock played it out, played it off, it was just like, wow, he, he really just, just socked me in my jaw and stuff like that. Really crazy. But then afterwards, in, I was in American, because I'm in American session, everything was censored and bleeped out, stuff like that. And you see just Will Smith just ranting out of anger and rage, pointing at Chris Rock and stuff like that. I like, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. He told him twice with furious, ferocious anger. And the whole audience, the crowd just, just, just was all in silence. I was in silence because... I felt Chris Rock like he 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 went from smiling to happiness and then everybody hates Chris moment. He went from a smile to frown. So I'm gonna check this clip out and um, just seeing it from an uncensored point of view. Now just a warning sign stuff like that. This is an uncensored version, so if there's a little profanity in there, just let y'all know. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, let's see these reactions um, and go for it. And action. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? See right there, she looked very offended. See, it, it, it was funny when I first saw it at first. Okay, I'm out here. Oh, Richard. See now, this I thought was part of the skit. Oh wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Dick. Out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. It was a G.I. Jane job. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Now. Wow, right? Like, like. Crazy, crazy, crazy just turned the whole vibe. It, 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 when I first saw it, like I said, I thought it was just part of the skit because you know the Oscars is real talented of just people coming up there just making jokes and stuff like that. But just Will Smith just suddenly just walk up there and I, it, it looked like when I first saw it, like he just fake punched him or I thought he was going to go up there and tell him, like, yo, man, and, and so, so forth, knowing the jokes. But then he just really actually just slapped Chris Rock on national TV on the Oscars. Now, y'all want to hear my various opinion about that? Um, I'm just going to say this. We're, between them two, it was 50-50. There was no winning battles on here. Um, I believe Will Smith was wrong, and I believe Chris Rock was wrong. Um, now, I'm going to the Will Smith's defending part, because if you're talking about my wife, 
you know, stuff like that. I agree, and I'm with that too. A man should always honor and defend his wife. I understand that completely, and honestly, stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think that Will Smith should not have done that. Get on stage and just humiliate himself like that. Just get up there and just smack Chris Rock for that. And on Chris Rock's point of view, He's a comedian, so the comedians, they all joke, they have the free will to joke and say all these great things, stuff like that. But when it comes a time when you're talking about a man's wife and you know she has a certain, because Jada Pickett has like a certain hair disease or something like that, like she, she's going bald, stuff like that. It's a joke, it's stuff like that. But like I said, when certain jokes go a little bit too far, that's when you had to cut it and stuff like that. And Chris Rock was wrong for that. So either, you know, he... I'm not going to go contradicting stuff like that because I heard other people say either if Chris Rock did know she had or didn't know something like that. But if he did not know that Jada had that um, hair disease problem, then I think he would not have admitted that and stuff like that. But since that already happened, in my opinion, if I was in the shoes of Will Smith, like honestly, like I'm like for me professionally, I'm a very humble person, and half of y'all know me. That I'm very humble in certain situations, especially when I get mad at certain things. But I'm very humble at it. If I was Will Smith, like after the Oscars or the awards and stuff like that, I would just wait afterwards, like just like say, "Yo, bro, like can I just pull you over to a side and stuff like that?" Like, "Yo, Chris, I did not like what you said about my wife Jada. You know her condition, right?" And Chris Rock probably said, "Oh." My God, bro, Will, I didn't, I didn't know that so, so far. So I want you, I was offended, and you really offended my wife, so I want you to generally, professionally, as a Will Smith should have done, generally, professionally, apologize to my wife, and stuff like that. So then Will Smith and Chris Rock, you know, they, they probably, you know, say, listen, Jada, I'm sorry, blah, 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 this, stuff like that, and on and on, and stuff like that. Should have done that. He should have done that. But then afterwards, I heard in a commercial break that um, Denzel watched it and Grandpa Denzel watched it and Tyler Perry had to pull Will aside and he had to comfort him and, and of what he's saying and stuff like that. And just But just that night alone, because you know what's so weird? It's Will Smith's um, night. Because after seeing that great fantastic film that he did with about Serena's daughters and he's playing as a father and he and I saw the movie a really great film really well acted and stuff like that it's on HBO Max y'all can check it out but um but it it, it felt like come on Will like you could do better than this bro and stuff like that and I'm not saying he's wrong for defending his wife no he's not wrong but he should have did it in a different approach like a more matured professional approach and um and i'm just saying this too because for us black people of course giving us the opportunity to be on the oscars to represent us in a national broad light you know you don't want to see two brothers going at it and stuff like that you don't want to say like now you know, I'm not going to this term, but I'm just going to go rogue in this. Like, you want to say, like, the white people say, I say, oh, we see two black brothers going at each other now. See, this is why we don't bring black people to the Oscars, y'all. You know, stuff like that. Listen, we have been through so much. We got 2020 and 2021 and on and on. Please, we as a people, in my opinion, have to do better. We cannot represent ourselves like this. And all my years of watching the Oscars, I have never, in my opinion, never have seen this displayed on this stuff like that. So we, we, we got to give our people a great representation of ourselves, man, because we, we got to do better, man. And Will Smith, man, whenever you get a chance, if you're watching this or something like that, please, whenever you get a chance, whenever you're healed, because let's be moment, when you're mad with somebody, you, you don't want to talk to nobody you, you know because even in his ending um apology speech will smith made a great great end ceremony speech but it felt like it was masked and he was really hurted and he apologized to everybody he apologized to the oscars he apologized to everyone stuff like that and you know grandpa denzel gave him that look like son you you <laughs> you could have done better or stuff like that but out of all my times of watching the oscars it was the most memorable moment stuff like that but even though getting back to what i'm saying when will smith was doing his apologies and all that stuff Notice that he did not apologize to Chris Rock. I think Chris Rock should get the apologies because I don't hear nobody asking whatever happened to Chris because I was looking at Chris Rock's reactions because Chris Rock looked at hurt. I haven't felt it off the screen. I'm not the only one that felt it. I felt it off the screen because Chris Rock looked at hurt because he, he, he came with this that. Listen, let's be real. If someone came approaching me and slapped me in the face like that, ooh, 
Knowing me as a Star Wars fan, a Jedi and all that stuff, you will be force pushed. <laughs> yeah, let's just be real, y'all. I'll be humbly force pushing and stuff like that. But what I really appreciate and what I love with Chris Rock that that he kept his professional cool because we will not tolerate, at least for me in my image as a young African American man, will not see two brothers on the Oscar national TV um, humiliating themselves and giving them, us an image as like, ugh, see, this is why we don't want to bring these people which is us on the oscars you don't we don't want that you know and stuff like that but i'm glad that chris rock you kept your cool bro you kept a real professional man and um the joke went too far i agree so so when y'all doing the jokes and everything please keep in mind you know you can joke but just keep it toned down and you know all that stuff you know it, it should have went the way it went you know but these are since some people say it's mostly sensitized stuff like that there's both sides of arguments that's going on and on you name it and stuff like that but I, I think in my opinion that will smith should not have done that like i said i would have pulled the brother aside chris let's talk about it let's, let's apologize case closed stuff like that that's it. Not to humiliate no one on TV, especially that because Will Smith, the Smith family has been going through a whole lot because, you know, Will Smith has been exposing his his marital life and, and, and Jada and all this other stuff. You know, it's, 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 it's been a lot on a plate on the Smith family. So I, I think this is enough because when they do a Netflix show or or biology biography of Will Smith, you know, this part is going to come up on a Netflix series or whatever. How they going to do it? Because um, this this. Out of all the highlights of, the, of this, even Quest Love was up there and stuff like that. Promote, you know, he got awarded for his documentary and all that stuff. And every every actor in Dune and, and all the movies were being nominated, but out of all the nights, it was this was the most highlighted moment, which was weird and disturbing as a fact. So, um, and Denzel Washington um, put a claim and stuff like that. He, he look up his quote and stuff like that. I can't uh, remember his quote, but he says, when you get to a higher level in life, sometimes the devil will get you to your higher level positions and stuff like that. And, and in other words, translation, he will humiliate you too when you get to a higher point in life. So yeah, Grandpa Denzel, listen to his wisdom, man, and stuff like that. But um, like I said, in conclusion, in the verdict, I believe, in my opinion, Will Smith was wrong. He should have humbled going to Ben back at the brother and, and, and to Chris Rock in front of him and just apologize, case closed. And Chris Rock do, I believe, deserves an apology from Will whenever Will gets a lot of healing and stuff like that. Because I have heard he still pressed charges and stuff like that, but I think, you know, it could have been, it could have been done better. It could have been done better and all that stuff. But it was a really awkward taste of a moment in the Oscars, stuff like that. Yeah, and well, that was my reactions. I just wanted to spit that out. This was something that just was on my mind. I just, I just had to speak my mind and opinion about it. And uh, I just want them both to be healed and be done better, stuff like that. So um, I really hope and pray that they both will be in a renewed mindset, a new heart and everything. And um, just just have peace with, with, with each other, man, because we had enough and stuff like that. We had enough as a people, as a whole. We need to represent ourselves better, stuff like that. So, if y'all agree, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know. If y'all disagree, please share your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts about it. I'm a very open-minded person, stuff like that. So, I want to hear your thoughts and stuff like that. How Will Smith and or Chris Rock could handle the situation. And, uh, yeah. So, that was my first time. I feel like a news <laughs> thing. I, I, you know, I just... brought out my video channel, stuff like that. So, yeah. Just let me hear your thoughts, y'all. Just, just, just be real, stuff like that. So with that being said, thank y'all for tuning in. Much love. Love for all y'all around the world. And this is Denzel B. Ren. Sign out. <laughs> with a bang, y'all. <laughs>